why you don't want to reduce your hours if you're working but are disabled and why you have to be in active employment to be eligible for your ERISA disability benefits. Now, many ERISA disability policies or plans require that you be in active employment at the time you become disabled. Each policy or plan has its own language, but generally you are required to be working at least 30 hours per week to be eligible for your uh, disability insurance. Now, th this whole game can be misinterpreted on purpose uh, by disability carriers. So let me tell you the story of, uh, found in Connor versus Unum. Dr. Connor was eligible for her disability benefits in a plan that required uh, uh, them to be in a full-time employee and in active employment at the time they became disabled. It was defined as working for your employer for earnings that are paid regularly and that you were actually um, working in a uh, full-time ca uh, capacity. And you had to be doing the uh, material and substantial duties of your usual occupation. Uh, so obviously these terms become important, full-time employment uh, and occupation and active employment. Now in this particular situation, full-time employment wasn't uh, defined. She applied for her benefits and Unum took the position she wasn't entitled to those benefits because she wasn't a full-time employee and she wasn't in active employment. Unum argued that full-time meant that she had to be working at least 35 hours per week. Now, where on earth did that come? Because it's not in the policy. O'Connor submitted an affidavit alleging that she was averaging 32.5 hours per week before the inclusion of on-call. So what did the court do with the plan requirement for active employment? The court said, look, it's kind of odd to read the eligibility provisions as expressly requiring a particular number standard for the work week, but then to override that standard by using a general and undefined term. The court felt that it was much more natural to read the provisions, meaning that a person was full time on the basis of working 30 hours per week and that they had to be an active employee working 30 hours per week. So uh, the court said, look, that, that's more consistent than you trying to create this policy language that isn't in the policy and that you're using as a way to deny uh, benefits. So what's important here is that ultimately courts are going to be applying a basic rule. And that is if there are two uh, reasonable and fair interpretations that are possible, any ambiguity has to be resolved in favor of you, the policyholder or plan beneficiary. And is this particular case, the Ninth uh, Circuit found that it was reasonable to interpret the plan to require the 30 hour minimum for full-time work and 30 hours for um, uh, active employment. Um, and the Ninth Circuit upheld the award of benefits to Dr. Uh, Connor. You can see that words matter in a disability insurance policy or plan, and they can make or break your entitlement to benefits. If you have any questions about your rights to benefits or the terms of your policy or plan, please give me a call at 727-894-3188 for a complimentary consultation. I look forward to helping you get the disability benefits you deserve regardless of where you live in the United States.